the Democratic National Convention and the race for the White House. Here's a look at the convention center this evening. Enthusiastic Democrats are filling seats at the United Center in Chicago as the party prepares to officially nominate Vice President Kamala Harris for president. The Democratic National Convention in Chicago will give Americans their first extended look at Vice President Kamala Harris and her new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. Democrats will keep abortion front and center this week and in the weeks to come. They believe it's an issue that could help them seal a victory in November over Donald Trump. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Well, good evening, Monse. President Joe Biden, who up until just a few weeks ago was the main Democratic candidate in the race for the White House, will instead deliver his speech tonight. Now, he and other Democrats have been pushing and promoting abortion for years now. Since the fall of Roe v. Wade, they've been focused on restoring it. But tonight, SBA Pro-Life America warns the Democrats have truly become the Shout Your Abortion Party. President Joe Biden arrives in Chicago, where he's scheduled to address the Democratic National Convention. Others who will deliver remarks at the event include... The men and women that have been subjected to cruel and dangerous abortion bans under Donald Trump um, and have bravely told their stories. Vice President Kamala Harris has called on Congress to pass legislation guaranteeing abortion in federal law and has criticized pro-life laws in Republican-controlled states. Planned Parenthood says it's even bringing a mobile RV to the neighborhood outside the DNC to offer free vasectomies and abortions. But SBA Pro-Life America tweeted this video of a pro-life speaker with this message for Harris. There are women of color like myself who you do not speak for. Abortion is not what we want. Abortion is what is wiping out the black community. Another focus at the DNC, the economy. Just last week in North Carolina, Harris pushing for a child tax credit. We will provide $6,000 in tax relief to families during the first year of a child's life. Former President Donald Trump, meanwhile, making a stop in York, Pennsylvania, offering another idea. That's why I've declared that a top priority for my administration will be to cut the cost of energy in half within the first 12 months of taking office. And Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, also in Pennsylvania, stopping in Philadelphia. I'd ask voters in, in, in Philadelphia and across the whole state a very simple question. Has your life been better off under Democrat leadership? Now back to the DNC. Roughly 50,000 people are expected to arrive in the Windy City, Chicago. That includes thousands of anti-war activists. Now besides President Biden tonight, Hillary Clinton is expected to address the audience. The Obamas will reportedly speak tomorrow. Then Vice President Harris will cap off the DNC with her acceptance speech this coming Thursday. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.